Sarah with Futurism. Today we're here at the incredible World's Fair Nano in Brooklyn. We're going to be speaking with some really revolutionary scientists who are changing the fields of neuroscience, planetary science, 4D printing, and more. Can you just start out by telling us what is self-assembly? Sure. Self-assembly is where you have individual components and they come together on their own without humans or machines. So without assembling components and without robots assembling things, you should just have materials and they should be able to spontaneously come together. Is this the same or different than 4D printing? The 4D printing is a little bit different. The idea there is that we want to take 3D printing and we want to add the element of time. So one way to think about it is basically printing smart materials, materials that transform themselves, they can sense the environment, or you can think about it as printing materials that behave like robots. Can you speak a little bit about the potential applications for yeah. these kind of non-wired robots? We're arguing that you can make smarter things with less. You can make smarter things with materials. We can make robots, but without any of the complexity of robots. Any industry wants to make smarter things, and we're showing you can do it with just materials alone. In what way do you see all of this technology transforming everything within the next decade and maybe even like 30 years down the road as well? So we'll see like simple implementations, a material that transforms to adapt to the body, or a material that can assemble itself to make a component that's difficult in traditional manufacturing. But in the future, I think it'll be more ubiquitous and it'll be a mind shift. I think in the future, every material will be seen as a smart material and have all these properties that we just tap into that we've kind of forgotten about. So it's really going to change the way that we think about these intangible items. The way that we design products, the way we interact with products, the way we collaborate with materials. Like today, we don't think about collaborating with materials, but I think that's the future of products is that it's actually going to be like a dance between us and the materials, both doing things that are useful. If someone knew nothing about this, or maybe if someone does know everything about this field, you know, what would you want them to know? What would you want them to leave them with? I'm interested in people just looking at materials in a new way. And all the computers and machines that we have today, that's how we think about programming. We think about, we program computers, machines, 3D printers, robots, and we're trying to argue that you can program matter, that you can literally program materials by listening to the material properties, combining them in just the right way, and allowing them to respond to their environment. Like, that's the future of computing to me.